Hey Ranger Nation, welcome back to another video and today we're talking about animated Power Rangers and yeah, I kind of really wanted to talk about it because I know there's going to be stuff. There's going to be another video that I will go over at some point and possibly multiple ones that we're going to talk about animation and Power Rangers and I really wanted to talk about the possibility of what, uh, what animated stuff that we'd have and how well it can be written as well as like what people are going to do with this brand. I have a bit more wind, but if you like this sort of content and you want to hear and see more, hit that like button, hit subscribe, turn on all notifications, and why not check out the merchandise? All of that will be linked in the description down below. Anyway, so writing about stuff. Now, I've been watching a lot of different kind of animated shows all the way through my entire life, from the 80s to the 90s to pretty much what's going on now. And I feel like kids' cartoons in general have grown and some have kind of pushed things down to the point where you're like, what the fuck? What am I watching? What is fucking going on here? I was watching a lot at the, at the time, Star Trek uh, Prodigy. That was a Star Trek show that was basically set within the main universe where a group of kids find a starship, they're able to control it, they're able to do it with the uh, assistance of Catherine Janeway which again sounds pretty cool. It's actually not a bad series from where they stopped to the point of where season two is going to be and stuff like that. Oh, I can't remember where they've stopped. I feel like, no, yeah, it's kind of, it, it's midway. It's been a while. I want to see that show because I think it's quite a good one. So when I started watching this, I generally thought, oh, this is going to be shit, but it's actually quite good. It shows the sort of mistakes that you can make as well as keeping it in continuity to actually being a pretty decent show rather than it being boring. So what happens if Power Rangers went fully 3D? What happens if they did the same sort of like sort of style, the same sort of kind of teachings and stuff? I think it could be written really, really well. Now, I think that there are multiple things when it comes to writing. Either you take yourself pretty decently, pretty seriously, or you go down the Teen Titans, Thundercats, Raw route, which is just basically them taking the piss. But I feel like when you watch this sort of stuff, and I feel like this is Teen Titans all over. Teen Titans to me was a really, like, Teen Titans in the back in the day of the 90s was a decent show. When they made Teen Titans Go, it was one of those things where everybody, including myself, hated it. But the way that it turned for me was when they acknowledged that they were a shit show and they acknowledged it. And I was like, okay, I can get on that. And as soon as that kind of clicked, I was like, cool they're not taking themselves seriously i enjoy this and there are some clips in that one which is absolutely fantastic or some crossovers which is absolutely fantastic as well so i feel like if say power rangers went down that sort of route as long as they make people aware and go yeah we're taking the piss out of ourselves and you know not to take us seriously or they did the whole thing of you know someone comes along and goes guys like i made you in my style like you're just a joke and then that acknowledges that. I think people would be okay with it. I know people are going to complain. I'm probably going to complain. It's what I do when it comes to stuff I don't like. You, you, do you hear that, Thundercats Raw? Freaking hate that shit. I fucking hate it. I'm not going to lie. It's fucking horrible. But, you know, if Power Rangers go, pa my, uh, go, go, power, it's going to be called Go, Go, Power Rangers. You know it's going to be called Go, Go, Power Rangers or Power Rangers Go, Go. No, it's going to be Power uh, Go Go Power Rangers. If they don't, I'd be very, very surprised. But if they don't went down that road, I would be, do you know what? Fuck it. it it's a comedy show. I'm not going to take it seriously. But I've seen Teen Titans Go. I've seen Thundercats Roar. Fucking hate them. But no, Teen Titans, to be fair, Teen Titans Go isn't that bad now that we know. But I feel like if you're going to be telling a story, then tell it correctly. I feel like you can have humor. You can have that jestingness but i do kind of think in theory now that a bit more seriousness something different should be out there rather than just cheap laughs and fart jokes i guarantee there's gonna be a ton of fart jokes i fucking hate it if you go down the road of say star trek uh, prodigy or you go down the say the transformers route i do feel like having progress for the characters is the best thing having it all just the same thing i think would ruin it to the point where it's just bad bad shit would just really kind of ruin what you're what you're trying to yeah you're trying to uh, please a certain amount of people but i think hasbro have got to kind of also realize at the end of the day 
the older fans are going to watch and enjoy it. Like I guarantee some fans of you know, Teen Titans Go of the original Teen Titans probably watched it and gone, do you know what, this is fine, this isn't. But I think when it comes to it, like if you're going to have proper character development, go down that road. Actually treat children like they're adults to some degree where you're not just shitting on them going like, fuck you and your, your things. We're going to write shit and you're going to fucking love it. I, I, I just don't see it kind of working that well. To be fair, I really enjoyed the animation of Star Trek uh, Prodigy. I felt like it's really well done. It feels a little bit kind of mmm, but in all, it was really well done. But there are other styles of animation that you can go down. You know, you have the you know DC style that they're on. I love the DC um, animation style. I think it's absolutely one of the best in the world. I generally really enjoy it. But then you have obviously 3D, you have the Marvel way. Marvel up and down type thing. But anime, anime is one of the most popular things right now. So maybe they go down the anime route. Maybe they go down the Thundercats Raw or Teen Titans Go uh, route as well. But if you did an anime version, it would work perfectly. And for people who turn around and say, Power Rangers can't be done in anime, fuck off. Like, have you not seen anime? Have you not seen these sorts of shows? Hell, fucking Kamen Rider's getting their own anime at some point. Probably soon, but fuck it. Like, anime, you can do it. And if you don't, go look at some anime because it's fucking done. Like, there's loads out there. And I'm sure that they could find someone to draw fucking Power Rangers. It wouldn't be fucking hard. I saw that comment and it really pissed me off a while ago. It's like, uh, anime can't do Power Rangers because they, they can't draw it like that. Fuck off. <laughs> get really angry but yeah literally it, it can be done fucking people can draw look at boom comics so are you saying that people can't draw comic books fuck off sorry bit of a tangent it just still gets to me it still gets to me i think that if you're gonna do this do it for everyone like you know, you have shows like adventure time you have other shows that pretty much do the same thing so do it just turn around and you know make shows for for everyone incorporate everyone into it because at the end of the day you're going to find that more adults probably watch this show than kids would do it and that that's it i know you want to bring in the kid demographic i can understand that but to be fair let's talk about it you you you're pretty <laughs> you're pretty much getting the adult people to watch it so make it more accessible to all so so we can all enjoy it don't make it shit. Like, I, I, please don't make it Thundercats Raw or Teen Titans Go. Please just call it the Coco Power Rangers. I would, I'd so, I would so fucking do it. Thing is, do you get, I mean, we know that they're gonna go down Mighty Morphing. They're fucking gonna do it, aren't they? So why don't you open it up to brand new Rangers doing it? You know, you, with uh, Prodigy, you didn't have Star Trek, uh, Starfleet uni uh, uniforms. You didn't have Starfleet officers. You had random characters that no one really knows about so why not just make brand new rangers you know or do some boom studios things do follow cadets or or whatnot so yeah i mean out of all of this i do think that if you're <laughs> i'm just so angry about the anime thing i think in general if you <laughs> i i want i want to rant about it i want to do but i'm trying to i'm trying to contain myself either way when you look at this you have as long as you've got decent writing as long as you've got a, a decent animation style i think it's going to be pretty decent for whatever that they do i mean we saw what they did back with that cancelled project with the 3d rangers and stuff like that but yeah i mean me personally i would like something different to come out but we fucking know it's gonna be teen titans and thundercats raw we fucking know i guarantee that one if it is come back and comment on this video and see if i was right or not anyway i'm gonna leave it there what are your thoughts do you agree that it should be open to all do you want to think that they should go down the kids route what do you think let me know down below in the comments and if you like this sort of content and you want to hear or see more hit that like button hit the subscribe button as well as that cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop and if i don't see you tomorrow i'll see you in a couple of days チャンネルをサポートしてくれてありがとうございます。チャンネル登録、高評価お願いします。以下のリンクから商品を入手することができます。